Hello everyone! Today we're going to learn how to make a themed recipe collection right here in Canva. So let's get right on to it. The first thing we need to do is to go to the search bar and type in cookbook. And from the drop down, we're going to select see all. The reason for that is because we're going to want to see some templates to choose from. So here we are on the templates page. Feel free to choose any template you'd like to use. By the way, if you hover over a template, you'll be able to notice that some of them have this like 1 out of 4 or 3 out of 4 or 1 out of 18. That means they have several pages. But if you hover over other templates, they don't have that. That means they're only a single page. So yeah, it's just something that I'd like to share that you, hopefully you'd find useful. I'm going to click on this and customize this template. So here we are on the main editing page. In case you'd like to change your template, as always, you can go to the side panel and see some templates over there. You can also use the search bar to look for something in a much faster way. They're under the design category, by the way. So let's start. And I'm going to close that so we'll have a bigger workspace. So let's start with the uh, title page first. You can choose to put your own photo here, but you're going to need to upload your photos to Canva first. So go to the upload section, click on upload files, and select the files from your computer that you'd like to download to, I mean, upload to Canva. And then once you're done, it will show up over here. And then in order to add your image to the page, you can just simply drag it just like that. And if you want to set it as background, you can also right click on it and click on replace background. And there you have it. Okay, I'm going to delete this first and I'm going to change its color to something else. I'm going to click on this button and choose from the colors that we can find over here. By the way, the, the colors that I'm choosing right now are Canva's color recommendations based on the images that this template has. So let's see, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use this one. I'm okay with this one. So we're gonna keep that. And now let's start with the images. So I'm gonna go to the element section and I'm going to type in grid and click on see all to view more options to choose from. Maybe I'd use this one. So I just clicked on it and here it is. I'm going to adjust it like so. And I'm also going to make sure that it's properly aligned. And move the other elements. to the bottom, I mean. Okay, so I'm going to insert some photos here. Unfortunately, I don't have any food photos on my projects um, tab or on my upload panel. So I'm going to use photos from Pexels or Pixabay. Now, you might wonder where I got this from. So just follow these steps. Go to the Apps button. Scroll down and find Pexels or Pixabay. And once you click on them, um, just like that, it'll be showing you some photos. So I'm going to refer to my outline here. This is, by the way, an outline that I had prepared for me by an AI so that I'd get to have something to show you for today's video, just as an example. So this one is spaghetti carbonara. So maybe we should type spaghetti carbonara over here. And then put it over here. And to adjust it, double click and drag it into place. Click on done once you're done. Basically, just do the same thing for the other photo elements.
Okay, now we're done with the photo. It's time that we deal with the title. So I'm going to remove these extra elements that we don't really need. Okay, and I'm going to keep this perhaps, but I'm going to change its color over here. Okay, perhaps that's all right. This is probably okay. And I'm going to change the um, text color to white. But you can do whatever you want with your cookbook. And I'm going to delete this element because I don't think we need that. I'm just going to zoom in and move these elements downwards. And make sure I type in the correct title. That's very important. So that is, let's see. Okay. And if you want to add some elements to your design, go to the elements section above and then type in whatever you want to use as a design over here on the search bar. You can also change your elements color by selecting it and then by going to the color selection button over here. And I'm going to duplicate it and place it over here. Then basically just keep on adding elements until you're happy with your design. And I'm going to send it backward. Click on position, backward or to back, depending on how far back you'd like your image to be sent to. I think this might be fine. I'm going to duplicate it and put it over here and once again send it to back all right we're done with our page cover or cover page i mean now let's go to page number two and deal with the table of contents i think it's okay i'm just going to delete these unnecessary elements over here and move things around instead of a square why don't we use a circle element so let's go to Elements once again and type in frame and all. I'm going to select this one and delete this one and put it over. Oh, put it over here. And now we can add our um, photos. So what do we have here? That's spaghetti carbonara let's go to pixels let's type in relevant keywords then done and then maybe we could maybe we could make this a bit smaller Okay, and then type in here, what do we have that? Spaghetti carbonara. Perhaps we can put it over here. And extend this line. I can't really place it straightly, so I'm going to do this instead. Okay, and then we're going to type in another title here. So I'm going to make this a bit smaller, put it above, 
And I'd like to copy this one or duplicate it and type in here our first theme. So that's Italian classics. Perhaps we can make it smaller, place it to the center and adjust its spacing once again. Make sure it's centered and there. We even have enough space to move the other elements over here. Perhaps we could zoom in a bit. And then perhaps, oh, let's, oh, okay, that's supposed to be the page number. Okay. And then we're going to make it bigger instead. You can input whatever you want to input over here. So blah, blah, depends on you. Okay, now let's go to the other one. I'm going to move this over here. And change the um, element. And what do we have next? That's chicken parmesan. And then drag the picture into place. And rearrange the elements depending on your preference. Okay, now let's start designing our content page. Um, basically, just keep on doing this until you reach the very end of your cookbook. So now we're going to proceed to the page itself. So I'm going to delete the unnecessary pages and leave everything else that I'm going to need. So here we are. I'm going to delete this element and place this element right over here, as well as this one. Then I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put another circular element over here. So I'm just going to copy this one, control C and control V, put the picture over here. So the first recipe that we're going to work on is, I think it has a long name, so spaghetti carbonara. I guess it won't fit, so I'm going to um, make it smaller. Still align it to the left. And there. I'm going to change the font for this text. Okay, I'm going to delete this other paragraph. We're only going to need one. I'm going to change its size to 12 and then go back to my page here and copy my ingredients from my notepad into Canva. And I'd like to turn them into a bulleted list. So I'm going to click on this button right here. Okay. So we're going to deal with the instructions. So I'm going to duplicate this word and type in here instructions and delete these. And perhaps just leave one out. So I'd like to turn this to 12 as well. Make sure everything's aligned. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my notepad and basically just copy all of the information over there to 
Canva. And once again, I'm going to turn it into a list, but this time a numbered list. And there we are. I think it's kind of lonely to have just one picture, so maybe we could duplicate it, make this one a bit bigger, and look for another photo that we can add. This one, for example. There. And, of course, let's not forget the page number. So I'm going to copy this, Control plus C, go back here, and Control plus V, and put it right over here. That should do it. Okay, so basically you just keep on doing the same thing over and over again. And yeah, I don't really need this, so I'm just going to delete the um, templates or the pages that I'm not really going to use. And in order not to go through all of those processes again, then you can just simply duplicate your current design and then you can just edit the content here. So say for example, that is, what do we have here? Um, say for example, this is another dish or another recipe. So you just have to um, change the title, say for example, homemade pizza, or just pe maybe classic pizza would be okay. And then we're going to look for pictures of pizza here. But if, yeah, you're making your own recipe book, then it's very important that you should use your own photos too, because that'll prove that you're good at cooking, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to insert these random photos over here. I think I like this one, perhaps this one, okay, and change the ingredients, change the instructions, and of course, change the page number. So just as easy as that. And once everything's done, go to the share button above, click on download, select your desired file type, and make sure to check other settings, other download settings as well. And then click on download and that's it for today we hope you found today's video of help thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next one